girls and women's sport in association with Reginalds, Reginalds 3-1 and Safer Training Solution. We're at Box Park Wembley for What's Your Story. Alongside me today, we've got two sick Chris Congo. Chris, thanks for joining us today. No problem, man. Thanks for having me, bro. Chris, so we're going to move on to our boxing now. Obviously, well, actually, you know what? We'll talk a bit about that today, today's event. So what made you come to today, today's event? Uh, what's your story? Um, I got called up by Sophia, part of IQ Boxing, and uh, she said she wanted um, a few of the top guys to come down and to speak about boxing and the journey and obviously the story. So that was the main aim, to come and share with the people, let them know how I started, what, what keeps me going and stuff, and what's my future plan. So that's what I come to do. Brilliant. One thing I want to ask you is how important is it like for young boxers to, or young people just coming in to want to find a sport to get involved in to maybe keep them off the streets and uh, keep them on the street and narrow, narrow. How important is uh, boxing and events like today? Um, it's very important man, I mean it keeps it keeps the generation busy. So when you've got youth clubs, boxing clubs, football clubs, all of that, it keeps the generation busy. Like I said, a lot of the time I find myself in the gym. When I wasn't in the gym, I was at home sleeping because the next day I got school or college or something um, to keep me occupied, which kept me away from the streets. Okay. So recently, I think you signed a deal with the WMG. Um, tell us a bit about that deal. Yeah, I signed a deal with Wasserman. Yeah. They're a very big company in sport. They're one of the biggest in Europe. And um, yeah, man, it's good to get going with a big company and um, just waiting on the promotional deal now. So we'll talk about a bit about your career, obviously like uh, you was scheduled to fight at Tyron, Tyron Nurse and uh, uh, York Hall. Tell us, a bit, uh, tell us a bit about that, obviously I was going to go to that fight as a bit disappointed about that. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, I was very disappointed man. I, he was one of the most experienced fighters in the British worldweight domestic scene. And these are the type of fights I want. I want the Tyron Nurse fights, I want all these fights. Um, something happened to him, he got injured a week before the fight and then two weeks later we see him fighting on a different show which obviously must mean something you know it, it definitely means he didn't want to fight me so I must be uh, you know I must be a threat to him. Wow I didn't know that he obviously didn't want to smoke yeah, yeah, he obviously yeah. didn't want to smoke it's a bit disappointing obviously because I was looking forward to that fight a lot of my friends were going to go to that fight yeah. so for the fight not to happen obviously for fans perspective it's a bit disappointing but Obviously, looking ahead, what's the future hold for you? Uh, you looking to fight anytime soon? Yeah, I'm looking to uh, fight probably in October. Should be, should be at, um, probably going to be on a big show, maybe a matching show. So we'll see what what goes on from then. But I'm I'm ready and willing to fight anybody. So obviously, another thing about future goals. What, where do you see yourself? Obviously, what, what, what's your aims in the future? What do you want to be? Looking to be a world champion? Obviously, you can a domestic champion. Obviously, when all the belts are uh, English level, uh, British level, and European level, is that, is that what you're looking for? Hundred percent. I want all the belts, British, European, world titles. That's what we're in this game for. I mean, if you're in this game to win a southern area, what are you doing? You know. So for me, it's definitely to, to get to the top level, and I believe I will. I've got the determination. I've got the drive. And the main thing is I've got the will to win, man. And I believe no one will beat me. OK, quick shout out. Obviously, you've got anything to say to your fans, obviously. Uh, what the future holds for you? Uh, what should, why, should, why should fans come and watch you fight? Um, the supporters should come and watch me fight. Just because I'm an entertaining fighter, I bring it. I can box, but I love to, I love to have a fight at times. And listen, man, you're going to see some real good knockouts, man. And that's what the supporters love. So. Just come down whenever I'm fighting. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Two Slick Chris, man. You heard it for the big man himself, Two Slick Chris Congo. This is Brother Whistle Sport in association with Reginalds, Reginalds 31, and Stake for Training Solution. We're at Box Park in Wembley. Thanks for joining us. Good night.